Father God, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for the honor, and I thank you for this day that you allow us to come together to celebrate the life of Marvin and the life of Crystal, Lord, as they make a bond, make a covenant, Lord, first in heaven and then down here on earth. I pray for the lives, Lord, that they become one from today and on, Lord. Crystal, the most beautiful woman that ever came into my life. I know we were meant to be because when I started chasing God with all my heart, I found you along the way. They say after the storm comes a calm. I can go on for hours talking about the storms I've been through in my life, but I'd rather talk about how calm I am when I'm with you, because you are my calm. It is written that Moses walked through the wilderness for 40 years to lead the Israelites to the promised land. And thank God I didn't have to wait 40 years. <laughs> For you are my promised land. Marvin, from the moment I saw you, November 5th, 2016 to be exact. <laughs> I said, we are going to be married one day. And look at us, here at the altar. <laughs> The past couple of years have brought nothing but joy, full of memories and growth as individuals separately and together. Through it all, you've been my rock, my comfort, my safe place, <laughs> my home. Today I make the easiest decision of my life by choosing to marry you. I promise to love you and always be by your side through all of the ups and downs. I vow to always be faithful and always be your best friend, no matter what the future might bring. I promise to always root for you, cheer you on, and be your biggest fan. I promise to love you and support you. I love you. <laughs> you are my person, my love, and my life today and always. I know my parents were, if my parents were here today, they would have loved you and accepted you as their very own daughter-in-law. I promise to protect you. I promise to stand by your side and bring out the best in you. I promise to be with you in the good days and the bad ones too. Like we always say, for life, baby. <laughs> Marvin Crystal, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of the Lord and of all these witnesses. It is my pleasure by the power vested to me by God, by the state of Pennsylvania and the Black Church to pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined, let no one separate. You may kiss your wife. Y'all can do a little louder, come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor, privilege, and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rodriguez. Come on, give it up. Make sure that when we decide to eat out, that the restaurant we go to serves at the very least chicken tenders. Oh wow! Okay. Or chicken nuggets. 